It's official. Donald and Melania just made big announcement after months of rumors, there is no shortage of rumors that circulate about our president and first lady and the respectable pair deals with each one exceptionally well. Among the many that have been said since the start of his presidency, there's one that's lingered long enough that has now been put to rest once and for all. The couple has just now made it official through a White House announcement and congratulations are in order. Conservatives across the country couldn't be more proud and excited. The anti-Trump media machine has been attacking the first family since the day Trump announced that he was running for office. It's only gotten worse since being sworn in and the efforts increase every month that the left's plans to impeach or somehow impugn him fail. While the president and can take the scandals they create and beat them at their own game, the rumors they create about Melania Trump and her intentions with her husband are below the belt, even for liberals. Melania decided to live in New York for the first six months of her husband's presidency, because it was the best decision for their young son who was ten at the time his dad took office. Barron was in the middle of his school year and to uproot him to Washington, D.C. away from friends and familiarity and into a completely different and definitely challenging role as first son of the most controversial president in history, wasn't wise for his well-being. Melania maintained her duties as First Lady of the United States secondary to her most important role as a mother. Despite being criticized for this noble effort and setting an incredible example to other parents across the country with her decision, she weathered the storm of rumors that said she would never move into the White House. The claim was that she preferred the distance and had discontent toward Donald for allegedly dragging her into a major leadership role that she wanted no part of. That couldn't have been further from the truth as she's done a flawless job as First Lady and really seems to have found herself in this honorable position. Proving all of their detractors wrong and staying the course and true to their word, Melania and Barron have officially moved into the White House now that school has ended for the now 11-year-old. There was never a question of if she would be settling in at 1600 Pennsylvania Avenue it was always just a matter of time, which has now come. The angry patriot movement has more. One of the unending sensationalist narratives being pushed by the mainstream media is the baseless accusation that President Trump and Melania are in a loveless marriage. Ignoring the clear devotion the couple have for each other and their son, the media clamors over every awkward moment between the couple of 20 years as proof that Melania is miserable. Disgusting reporters too untalented to work for even the worst celebrity tabloids have accused Melania of being a gold digger, a foreigner desperate for a green card and even a prostitute. The reality that these two could actually love each other and there be no ulterior motive in the marriage for either one of them is apparently far less interesting than the anti-Trump narrative the media has pushed for about six months now. It's difficult for these people to believe that a couple can be both powerful and happy and also good parents, even if they don't fit into their mold made from preconceived notions. Perhaps the slander about their personal life and temporary living decisions was to distract from the incredibly positive message Melania sent without even trying. While she's our first lady, she's also a mother, which is a role that she takes seriously. Before the results of the election were announced, she took Baron to end from school on her own, just like the mom next door would do anywhere in the country. She's incredibly close with him in a healthy way that will surely result in a well-adjusted young man more confident and mature than the liberal adults who constantly attack him as a child. What makes this move special isn't just the family living there, it's that Barron will be the first first son to live in the White House since 1963 when John F. Kennedy was president and his J.R. was a toddler. Please do not forget like on videos, and subscribe, and comment because your voice matters, and visit our page on Facebook, and like them, and follow up. And thanks for watching.